title of his speech, and he said it's the tenth. It's the tenth in the manual, and this is quite an achievement. He'll get an award at the end of this for completing the first ten speeches. His title is Lock the Doors. What is the one thing you do before leaving your home? Of course. I brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> lock the door. I was looking for lock the door. <laughs> because it's the title. <laughs> I do both. Brush my teeth and lock and the door. And the lock the door. I was just saying the lock the door. <laughs> Madam Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. Do you know, last year, in 2012, one of the most talked incidents in computer security. I'm sure you don't. Or you may be knowing something, but not the one that I'm going to tell you. A 15-year-old boy from Austria defaced 259 websites in 90 days. That is, that was three websites per day. A 15-year-old boy can deface 259 websites. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Anyone else can believe it? No, he can't not and cannot believe it. <laughs> what about others? And what was his motivation? And how did he do it? That's another part which I'm not going to there. That's all little things such as locking your door before you leave. Makes make huge difference. Today, you will definitely get an awareness from my speech about this. It's always awareness. You need to have the awareness first to start something. Do you agree? You need to know. You need to <coughs> have something to start with. Do you agree with that? You need to be aware. <coughs> we have computers, we have laptops. We have our iPhones. These are all called mobile devices or the computer devices. I work in computer industry for 15 years now. And I started <coughs> with a computer when that is the 15 year old boy with that similar motivation to know about it. Here, here is the important thing you need to understand. <coughs> when you use your computer, your laptop, your iPhone, your iPad, whatever the tablet or whatever X, Y, Z, I don't know, I can't list <coughs> everything, but you know what I mean, right? When you use that, do you have the awareness about how to secure your device? I'm going to ad address it as a device because I don't know what you are using. Because I know Karen is using <coughs> Mac, and they have a laptop on the computer as well. I have a Windows computer and their laptop. My wife uses a Windows computer, I use a Mac. What do you use? Tim, what do you use? Mac. Mac. Vivek? Windows. Windows. Windows laptop, right? What do you use, Kevin? I use Mac. Mac. Amanda? Mac. Windows. Windows. So we all have X, Y, Z, whatever that is, but I'm going to call it a device. So here is the first important thing that you need to know. You know what that is? The Appearance. Now I'm not going to, not going into the gory details of how are you going to secure or how are you going to make it secure. It's all, it always starts with your awareness, you being aware of your what you're doing. The first thing, awareness. When somebody calls you in the phone and asks you for a social security number, will you give it to them? 
Now, what will you do in that case? You put down the phone? Yeah, hang up. Hang up? Yeah. Okay, what if he calls again? <laughs> no, I didn't get that. What, what is that? <laughs> okay. Well, what will you do, Brent? What will you do if somebody calls you and asks for a for your social security number for something? He's he or she is saying it is for legitimate purposes and um, you know, let's say insurance or something like that. What will you do? Well, yeah, I would definitely want to check on my own that's a legitimate source. Legitimate or not, right? So your awareness always start with you. So let's say you are getting an email with a link on it, and it is it it is asking you to click. Will you click? How many of you click a link from an email? Let's start with that. Sometimes. What is the criteria you use before you click? Or what will you decide? You know make a decision to click it? I have to know the website, and I have to be potentially expecting the link. Link, okay. Anybody else? Be yeah. Uh, I will look at the subject line before I send it to jump. Subject line, okay, so look closer and looking for something more. Yes, Peggy? I hover over the um, name to see if it's the same. Close, close. Or look at the email where it came to. Okay, sender. Sender's one? Sender before I send it to John. Okay, sender's name, okay. Anything, anybody else? What, what is the, what's the criteria that you do before you clicking an email? Look at the sender's name. I know, I know, who, I know who it's from, or something about the sender. Yeah, no. So what happens is, nowadays, they send a shorter URL is very dangerous. The one that starts shorter one, the one with a seven character or six character URL, and that redirects to another one. So what is the thing is you never click any links from an email. You know why? Right virus. now I just what's the chance of chance of virus. Chance for virus. Okay, how it's coming before that never click a link mainly because of the C. Right now I can Yes, it can't be. I send you links to the, but to I the upload to the YouTube, so you, you click on that. Yeah, because you I go to the website instead. Yeah, I, I never click a link in your email. I always go to the YouTube H3 Masters. <laughs> you don't click on the links? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> because... No more links for you. <laughs> you an email as Ken, do you know? I can send, I can easily, I can send an email as who, what it is? I can send as Pat to everyone here. Or I can send as John to everyone else. I, I can do it as a third person. There are, it's as a very small technique. And a 15 year old, I know I'm not going to take it, 15 year old, maybe five year old could do it with a little bit of knowledge. The second most thing is your antivirus and anti -malware. The third one is your firewall. There are so many X, Y, Z things that you need to be aware of. However, you always start with a little thing that you need to do. I am a big proponent of preventive mechanism. Okay? The awareness is prevent, prevents you from trouble. Awareness. That's the most important thing. Awareness. You being aware of what you are doing. You try to understand. You know, I, I used to say this in another, another way called non-impulsive behavior. You know, in people with integrity do non-impulsive behavior. Do you know what, what a non-impulsive behavior is? Yes. Something that you that's not normal for that person. Normal, um, almost there. Abnormal. Anybody? Uh, yes, please. Something that you just you think about and you do right then. Right then, that's impulsive behavior. 
Oh, non impulsive you, would be the discipline not to do something. So you yeah. don't do something like that. One example, you have your phone, phone your cell phone ring. Don't answer it immediately. Look at it, who the hell is he? Or she, <laughs> or what is this? I'm gonna take a moment and then answer the phone because that moment, that non-impulsive behavior gives you a huge thing. So it's always little things you do make a huge difference. It starts with security, awareness. Awareness of what you are doing. And I have to link this to my title, which is a lock the door, right? How am I going to do it? I really don't know. Man of Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs>